So this is it. This is the day. It has finally come. I am excited. The carrot soaps were supposed to go out last week or the week before, but then at the 11th hour, I was just double checking a price on carrot essential oil, carrot seed oil versus just carrot oil, which is an infusion. And I got onto Anne Marie's site and looked at her, the, the description of what it was and then was like mad that she was charging as much as she was for it. So instead of the soap today, we're not going to do that. We're going to talk about all the different ways that you can do carrots, extractions, infusions, and all the jazz, and uh, show you those ways, and uh, talk about why it's so confusing, this whole carrot thing, when we go to our vendors. And I guess I'll tell you more about that in just a minute, although I just told you a lot. But before I do, hello, I am Mrs. Soap and Clay. Let's make stuff. How's it going, Sudzers? Welcome back to the channel. You are at Soap and Clay, where we make all the soapy things. And you are here for the carrot round, and I'm excited for it. Super, super excited for it. First up with all of this, what we are going to be doing is we are going to be going through all of the different ways that I processed carrot. Not specifically for the carrot soap that I made, although a couple of those ways are obviously incorporated into the carrot soap. But to just show you all the different ways that you can do extractions within from a carrot, either from a seed or from the actual, you know, the, the root vegetable itself, all of the jazz. And we are going to talk about all of the differences and what you get kind of from each step and uh, show you what I'm doing while I do it. So we should get there because I have the the round bottom flasks out and I've got the, the Bunsen burners and we're doing some absolutes and extractions and it's a whole thing. So we should get to that and we can talk more about all the properties of carrot, why you want it in your soaps and your cosmetics because you super do and why you should never buy it from Brambleberry. So we are doing all types of carrot distillation today, well extraction today, all of the different ways you can extract the incredible skin benefits of carrot. And we are going to start out with juicing. Now carrot juice itself is packed with beta carotene, vitamins A, C, K, and antioxidants. There's a nice breakdown of what you can expect from carrots just generally. And of course all of that is really great for your skin, it's going to promote a healthy glow, protect against uh, sun damage. And juicing, the pros of that, obviously, is that it's quick and easy. You just need a good cold press juicer like this, and you can get the juice, which can then be incorporated into your soap oils or your soap water in your lye solution or into your uh, cosmetics with a caveat. Uh, some of the cons is, well, it doesn't have a shelf life, and so it has to be refrigerated or you need to put a preservative in it if you're using it, making it in advance all the jazz. Now, everything that comes from the carrot juicing would be the pulp. And the pulp that's left behind realistically can be used as an exfoliant within scrubs, which we will be doing. And so that's good. You can use essentially every part of the carrot when going that route. What is remaining though within the carrot pulp? Uh, obviously the fiber, there's gonna be a lot of fiber left behind. Some of the nit micronutrients like vitamin K, B6, your folates, some of your minerals like calcium, magnesium, potassium, and some of your antioxidants and a bit of your proteins and your enzymes. Now this is the amount of solids that are within that. So I've salted this out, something that is very common within the, well, it used to be within the hot process world, salting out the extra water. I don't know that anybody actually does it anymore though. They're not, they certainly don't talk about it, but it's a great way to get all excess water out of your hot process recipe. You can salt it out. Now, what I'm going to be doing with the pulp here, we'll be drying it out in the dehydrator and using it within a scrub for a cosmetic for later on within the series. But as I said, the pulp usually best served for something like this because you really do have a lot less, it's less nutrient dense than the juice itself. And so that's why the Anne Marie thing, the listing of this is like the waste off of juicing and jam 
that they're using to make their carrot oil, which would be an infusion then, and you're infusing it with the pulp, right? That's what makes sense to me with that. There are no SDS pages. I have no idea what this actually is. It's just being called carrot seed oil on this for an extraordinary amount of money. But then when you see the description there, it doesn't make sense that A, it's a carrot seed oil extraction because how would it be a carrot seed oil if it's being made from the remains of the juicing and jam industry? You know what I mean? And so for what that is, it has to be pulp. This is all that makes sense to me. And so it's just cuckoo bananas that they're charging that because you can literally just do a carrot infusion, not from the pulp. You could just use, you know, you could just use regular carrots, just shred some carrots and do an infusion, which we are also going to be doing within all of this because there's a lot that can be said about doing an oil infusion. So this is just me with uh, some olive oil or maybe it's canola. I think it's olive for this guy. Putting in carrots, uh, we'll shred a carrot and all of this to do an infusion. Now, what's going to transfer with an infusion? The fat soluble, vitamins and nutrients. So your beta carotenes, your vitamin A, E and K, any lipids that are present within the carrots will also transfer. Also, all of the essential oils and the aromatic compounds that will also transfer. Pros of this is also is obviously it's cheap because you're using your soaping oils. Uh, the cons of this is it takes a really long time. Several weeks of an infusion, continuing to give it a shake every once in a while, all of the jazz. That is also true within the uh, the glycerite solution here. What is not going to transfer in an oil infusion? Well, any of the water-soluble vitamins, so vitamin C, realistically, within carrots, as well as the proteins. The proteins are not going to dissolve in oil, so they're not going to be part of an oil infusion. For that method, a cold infusion, you could also do a heat infusion for sure for your oil. You could also do a heat infusion for your glycerin. Um, generally, Either way, it's probably easier just to do a cold infusion and just leave it because that's, well, it requires a lot of extra preparation, I suppose, but it it's very easy. It's very cost effective to do this. Now, the glycerite, so making a glycerite here, that's going to be extracting all of the water-soluble nutrients that I was just talking about, the thing that you can't get via the oils the oil extraction. And so there's a huge benefit for the glycerin, especially if you're making a melt and pour soap base from scratch, or you want to incorporate it into your cosmetics. Highly, highly recommend using a carrot glycerite for those purposes. So again, just an easy infusion. I love that for all of us. Okay, and now on to more extractions. So this is another way to do extractions within the world of carrots. You can do uh, distillations. And this particular one, since you see we are using uh, ground carrots here, we are going to be looking at a carrot hydrosol. Now, a hydrosol is going to be essentially capturing all of the essences of the carrot with as well as you know so all the essence of the plant material within a water and so it's very similar to distilling the essential oils from it but we're getting essentially water that can be used within our uh with well within all kinds of things you can definitely use this within a cosmetic hint hint i will be doing that and you can easily incorporate this into your soaps. For your soap purposes, would you use a carrot hydrosol? I don't think so, like why not just juice the carrot? You know what I mean? Because it already contains quite a bit of water. The problems, the cons of this obviously are, do you have a distillation kit, you know? And do you wanna take all the time to do the thing? For this mass of carrots that's in there, which is about, you know, six to eight carrots in total, it took, Oh, I don't know, around two and a half hours to get everything out of it. And I it ultimately yielded, I'm going to say, I think a total of like 30 mils of the carrot hydrosol. So I wouldn't be putting that in my soap. I would definitely incorporate that into cosmetics though, because of all of the water soluble compounds that exist that you're pulling out of that. So I love that for us. Now, going back to the Amory thing and like the carrot seed oil, I also did a carrot seed, which I'll show you in a minute, but I'm just, I don't know, trying to find fun angles for 
look, the distillation, and eventually all the hydrosols come out of that guy, slowly at first and then quickly. But the the thing that Anne-Marie did, calling it a carrot seed oil, which for all I can tell, has to just be an infusion based on the description of the product is really super misleading. And so I think it's really important to pay attention to that sort of information and really get it from, get that info from, uh, well, I guess trusted sources, not that Brambleberry isn't a trusted source, but seeing that made me question a whole lot about the whole practice, right? Because that's cuckoo bananas. Because ultimately, in order to get a carrot seed oil, what you are doing is literally using the carrot seeds. So these tiny little guys. This little pack of carrots cost me $4, okay? And there's not a lot in there. And so when it was all said and done, A, wrong flask to be using for any of this. I needed a much smaller amount. Two, I got like one mil, if that, of the essential oil when it was all said and done. And that's an essential oil. A carrot seed essential oil makes sense that it's expensive, right? Because it's coming from the carrot seed and it takes a lot of it and a lot of time and all of the things in order to actually extract all of the skin loving goodness. And so that makes sense that it would cost a lot of money. But for something that as far as I can tell is being called a carrot seed oil, but it looks to be an infusion of insert whatever you want here, using the pulp, the remains of the juicing and jam process industry, I, there's no, how are, you, how are you charging this? You know, there were, I'm going to put other instances, you can check the links below, of like New Directions Aromatics, et cetera, and so forth, that actually have all the information on their infusions that are going to be very beneficial, very skin loving for sure. You're getting all those fat soluble compounds from the carrot within your infusions. It can absolutely be used for your soaps, for your cosmetics, for all of the things, but they're not, they shouldn't be priced as high as what essentially Anne Marie is charging for this carrot seed at all because she's not doing this. This is not what it is. And so, I don't know, carrot seed uh, essential oil, that's definitely a beneficial thing to be using within your cosmetics. It is a pain in the butt to DIY at home. Uh, it's all of this. It is expensive if you are going to you know, be purchasing it, which is why you should use it in your cosmetics and probably not within your soaps. But for carrots, just generally using oil infusions, that's a big yes. Using glycerites, that's a big yes. Making a carrot hydrosol, that's a big yes. Uh, doing just carrot juice as your, you know, in place of your waters and your lye solution, also a big yes. All of those things I think would be a really, really great idea to incorporate carrots into your overall products because not only is it cool label appeal, but there are genuinely some really interesting and cool things within carrots that are going to, uh, be beneficial for the end product of your soap and certainly for your cosmetics if we're talking about you know topical leave-on products but buying this thing from Brambleberry is a big no for me but now here's a here's an example of this ready to be separated and do fun stuff with the oil which we'll be doing you know tomorrow with the actual carrot soap but we'll talk more about that then now we're just going to go back to my face I suppose and there it is, a comprehensive deep dive into all things carrot within our soaps and our cosmetics. Now, it's important to break down all of the different components within any, well, anything that we're putting into, any additive that we're putting into our soaps for a number of reasons. One, we want to know what it's going to do to the lye. Is it going to interact as far as like an actual neutralization reaction? So therefore, you need to add more lye to ensure that your super fat remains the same. Does it matter? Also, we need to know if it has any sort of sugars, so it's going to increase the lather, which means you can take that coconut oil down a little bit if you would like, all of the jazz. But also knowing what these individual components do in your soap, so when they react with, with lye, whether or not they're actually going through saponification is important. So we did talk about that a little bit within the vitamin C and the absorbic acid. It doesn't really survive anything. And so there's no real point in putting, you know, orange juice or vitamin C or anything into your soap products because it's not going to survive that high temp and that degradation that you're going to get from the NaOH interacting with it. But just like with the carrots, 
Oranges, vitamin C, is great for topicals. So it's important to also know what all those components do for your cosmetics, for your lotions, for your creams, for your serums, for your balms, for your masks, all of the things. And so I hope that was very helpful, for sure. I'm going to be making a soap next. So we are going to be doing the carrot soap, going to reveal it to you, going to talk to you about how I did it, all the jazz. I love it. Just first, I'm just, spoiler, I love it. It's really cool soap. And so if you're interested in it, you know, come back, subscribe, bell things, and then you find out when I post it. That's, that's all a thing. And for those of you who are subscribed and do all those things, hey, thank you, Sudzers, for being Sudzers and for being you and for being awesome. I appreciate you. I'm out of here. I have a lot going on at the moment, actually. Sudzers, love you. Already said it. Mean it. I will see all of you again tomorrow for another round of carrot-infused soapy soapy fun. Bye.